Yocart is a multi-vendor platform, where you can sell both physical and digital products. In this video, you will learn to set up a shop. Setting up a shop with Yocart allows customers to browse, explore and purchase products directly from your shopfront. Learn how to set up a shop step by step from scratch. Let's get started. From the dashboard area, click on the create shop button. The next screen shows a shop setup form. There are several tabs in the form where information needs to be added. This tab has following information to add. Enter a unique shop identifier name. This is not the shop's name. This helps to uniquely identify each record in the system. This field is auto-populated with the data that you just entered under the identifier field. This comes in the form of URL slug, which is the end part of a full URL. Can be edited if required. Enter your shop's phone number that will be used on every order receipt. Select the country where your shop is located. Select the state where your shop is located. Enter the postal code of your shop's location. Select on status to make your shop display on the front end. To temporarily hide on the front end, select off. Enter the number of days a product is eligible for return. For example, enter value 10 to enable the buyer to return the purchased item within 10 days. Enter the number of days a product is eligible for cancellation. For example, enter value 20 for cancellation within 20 days. Enter the time gap in hours that needs to be maintained to pick up the order. This helps the buyer check the availability of the next slot before placing an order. By default, it is set to 2, but can be edited if required. Select how the order will be delivered to the buyer. The fulfillment method you select will be followed for all the products sold from your shop. Note that while you set up the shop for the first time, you can only view the ship only option. The other fulfillment options, ship and pickup and pickup begins to appear only when you add pickup address details prompted later in the form. Turn on the toggle switch if you want to use manual shipping profiles. Leave it off, if you want the third-party plugin that you activated to calculate the shipping charges for you. Enter information required by your government, such as customer full name, invoice date, payment due date, description of products or services sold, total amount due etc. Click on the Save button to switch to the next tab. Here, you need to add information about your shop such as its name, address, city and other terms and conditions. The information that you add will save in the same language that you select from the drop-down list. The shop name that you enter here will appear on the store homepage, invoice, order detail page, etc. Addresses that you enter will appear on the invoice, store homepage, and order detail page. Fill in the rest of the details. Turn on this toggle switch to update the secondary language data automatically. To activate the return policy of your shop, add return address details. If you do not add a return address, the shop will not have the return option and no item can be returned back to you in case of any issues. Therefore, it is recommended to add a return address for your buyers. Whenever a customer returns the package, it will be addressed to the name you enter here. Fill in the other details to complete the return address added. Turn on this toggle switch, if you want to update the above added information and other secondary language data. Here, you can add a pickup address that customers see when they want to pick up an order from your store. You can add multiple pickup addresses. Before you begin to add details, select the preferred language in which you want to set up the pickup address. Fill in the other details to complete the pickup address. Once 
Once added, the next segment of the form allows you to add the slot timings, indicating time and days when the store will be open. The slot timings that you add will be displayed to customers to pick up the order. There are two options to select the time slot. Selecting this option will allow buyers to pick up orders on a specific day and time. Selecting this option will allow buyers to pick up orders from the location every day. Also, note that the fulfillment option ship and pick up and pick up begins to appear under the general tab once you set up the pickup address details. Under the media tab, you can add a logo and banner image to customize the look of your store. Both logo and banner image once added are displayed on the front end on the shop detail page. Collections are groups of products that can be bunched together on the basis of similarity. Adding a collection list can be helpful to grab immediate attention of buyers while increasing your store sales. Click on the Add Collection, and enter the collection name. On sale products, top selling brands or Black Friday sales are some of the examples of collections. Being new to the store setup, you need to add products beforehand to add or link products to the collection list. For demonstration purposes, we have added some products already to show you how you can add the collections. Collections are displayed at the bottom of your shop's page. Hence, you can skip this tab and add the collections once you have added products. Here, you can add links to your social media profiles including Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, Google, Pinterest, and LinkedIn. Once added, it gives customers a more detailed overview of your business. Know that the links you add here are displayed at the front end of the store's homepage beside the store's name and logo. Now you know how to set up a shop. For more videos on getting started with YoCart, subscribe now.